welcome back to another one of my DIY videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make halter tops. I was inspired from a very, very, very hot day. I felt gross, I felt yucky, and I just wanted to like rip my shirt off, but that would be very inappropriate. So I thought about making my own halter top, and then this idea came to mind. It was just a very, very super easy um, idea, and I thought about showing you guys how to make a so and a no sew method. So anybody out there who wants to design and make their own tops, this is perfect for you guys. And I had fun with my designs. I added some pom-poms and also some feathers. You can switch up the material and make it into a party top. All right, so before we get started, if you ladies are wondering what I wore underneath or if I wore anything underneath, I didn't, no, just kidding. I did and I wore this. You can actually find this on eBay and also pasties that I recommend for any of you ladies out there that want to cover up your goods. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so let's get started with materials. You are going to need some fabric and I will be using this piece that is 21 by 21 inches. Next, I will be using some suede cord and you can use a ribbon too if you like. For designs, I will be using some pom-pom trims and also some wooden beads and feathers. You should have fun with the design process and use whatever you like. Be creative with this. All of my tutorials are designed around for you to personalize and customize it. If you are not sewing, then this is a great permanent fabric glue to use. I found this from my local Joann's fabric store. Next, if you have a sewing machine, then take that out. Okay, so to start this tutorial, you're going to need a cut piece of fabric that is 21 by 21 inches. The way I figured out my measurement was that I folded my fabric into half and then I took out a top that was not too loose or too tight and that fits me well enough. And then so I just placed it on top of the folded fabric like so. From there, I was able to determine how wide I need my fabric and so this was what I came up with. So this right here is an example on what I did. And after I figured out my measurement, I have it folded again, I lay my top out. With my Sharpie, I took that and traced along the armhole and neckline to give myself some sort of reference. Once you're done tracing, you should have something like this. So once you finish tracing out the armhole and the neckline, take out some pins and pin the fabric together like so. Okay, so after you finish pinning, what you're going to do next is cut about half an inch away from the trace line. I forgot to cut half an inch away from the edge of the tracing line, but I highly suggest for you to do so. So make sure you give half an inch between the tracing line that you just drew out and from where you will be cutting. So right here, what I'm doing is cutting out little triangles, just little tiny small triangles that is less than a half inch, so that way I can fold down the curve line. So as you see, I am only doing this along the curve line. Now it's time to press down the raw edges. So along every cut line that you just made, what you're going to do is fold it down half an inch into the wrong side, just like so, and press it with a hot iron. So as you can see, after snipping off the little triangles along the curve line, it makes it a lot easier to fold down the fabric and press it down. Okay, so after pressing in all the raw edges, what you're going to do now is take the glue and apply a nice line of glue under where you pressed in that half inch of fabric. This way your fabric won't fray apart and all the edges will look clean and professional. What I would recommend for you to do is leave the corner sides, you know, the two sides where you will be tying a string together in the back, leave those corners unglued. That would be the only area you do not need to glue. If you have a sewing machine and would like to use that, then please do take that out. And basically, all you have to do is sew where I glued. It's that easy. As for the neckline, what I'm going to do is fold it inward about one inch to one and a half inches. Fold that in and then press it down. And once you have that press, you can take a string out that can be between 45 to 50 inches long. I cut mine 45 inches long and I'm using a suede cord, but you can also use a ribbon, whatever you have or whatever you prefer to use. Now with fabric glue, glue the opening together. 
To add a personal touch, what I'm doing is adding on some pom-pom trimmings to the bottom of this top. This is super cute. I found this from Joanne's Fabric Store and I just love how it turned out. Okay, so let's work on the ties for the back of the top. So I cut out a set of 14 inches long strings for each top. And what I'm going to do is glue it into the corners. Remember that corner that I told you to not glue together? Well, this is it, the two corners on the side of the top. So what you're going to do is take an end of your string and glue it between the fabrics like so. Now this glue is very strong and permanent, but if you feel like you need extra security and you don't have a sewing machine, then you can use a um, just needle and thread and just sew it together to give you extra security. If you do have a sewing machine, then just put it between the fabric and sew it back and forth a couple of times. So that is pretty much it. All you have to do now is just decorate your string. What I usually like to do is add on some beads. And then I would tie a loose little knot at the end, tuck my feather in, add in or dab in a little bit of the permanent fabric glue, and then tighten the knot and it should hold the feather in place. Alrighty guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And also, I made a couple extra of these halter tops, so if you would like to win one, I am giving them away on Twitter. Other than that, I make new videos every week, so if you would like to see more of my videos, don't forget to click on that yellow subscribe button below. I love you guys, and I appreciate you, and I will see you next week. Ciao!